guys, welcome back to Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley, and today I'm going to show you a super quick, super easy tutorial on how I get a half and half sheet cake. You can make it any flavors you want. I'm doing vanilla and chocolate. You're going to need a sheet cake pan, a rolled up towel. I'm using a little dish towel drying mat. And you're going to spray down your pan, take some parchment paper, and I'm going to rip off a piece that is large enough to fit inside my pan because I always like to make sure it's got parchment paper. I'm going to use a pencil and cut this out just so it's in the bottom of the pan just because I hate when it folds up in the corners and there's big wrinkles and gaps in my cake. So I'm going to cut this out. Then I'm going to take this, I'm going to place it on my already sprayed down pan, spray it down again with some baking spray, and now I'm going to take my cake mix. I'm using white and chocolate, but you can use again any cake mixes you want, but whichever one is the runniest you want to do second. So I'm going to use the white cake mix first because it's not quite as runny as chocolate mix. Now, this is the most important part. I'm going to take my pan and a rolled up towel and I'm just going to tilt it up and prop the towel up underneath it so my pan is tilted at an angle. Do you see what I'm saying? So now, I'm going to take my white cake mix that I have or whatever cake mix you have that is less runny and we are just going to pour that down into the side that is leaned down, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill up this side of the pan, only this half. Don't start at the top and let it run down you only want to fill up one half of the pan now in the second step you're going to have to move super quickly so i'm going to try and explain it quickly you're going to quickly jerk the towel out from underneath the pan while pouring the chocolate into the other half of the pan it sounds a lot harder than it is you got to move swiftly and quickly so pull it out dump it in before the white has a chance to travel over and meet with the chocolate then if you do it like i did it pretty quickly pretty swiftly you will have the cake batters will meet each other in the middle and then this is what you will have you will have a beautiful half and half cake where it meets perfectly in the middle and you can bake it like this and it will stay this way like it is amazing don't forget to simple syrup your cake again if you want to see how I made this bottle don't forget to check the description below I'll put a link to the video where I made it it's super simple ice your cake and it's ready to go I know right guys like how simple is this it was that simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.